to visit Full Gallop Farm and go take the babies, the off-the-track thoroughbreds for a cross-country school. So I had my student, Madison Chisholm, and her young off-the-track buzz on the gray, and I was on Reloaded, a.k.a. Sniper is his barn name. And it really is a great facility to go take your young horses schooling because it's everything is pretty inviting. And... Um, here you can see I'd walk through the water several times and Sniper would just wasn't quite sure so you want to try and stay in the center, keep his head in, in the place you want it and just kind of stay supportive and then they want to go right in. Um, and then he got the really good hang of it and started to really enjoy going into the water. <laughs> headed to the ditches and I was so shocked at how well these boys um, had no problems over the ditches. They really kind of enjoyed it and that's kind of how I started off the schooling session was building their confidence with the water in the ditches and then we moved on to a little bit of the coops and stuff and here again I kept his face in the center and that's a nice forgiving fence. It's nice and round so you can ask them to go um, from the standstill if they need to. We did lots of trotting, lots of walking of things just for them to, it's really important in the beginning for them to get their feet and get their balance. I always like to make sure that I'm staying out of their way and grabbing their mane and never catching them in the face so they can become confident and comfortable. And he was doing really, really good, except he was pretty barn sour. I also call him ants in the pants. <laughs> He had to learn a little bit of patience for the day. So anytime he would get upset, I would kind of move his feet around and then ask him to stand still. And here we took a moment to kind of let the boys stand still while we were negotiating a little course to do and it was really good for them. So here you'll be able to see Sniper is wanting to drift because you can't see in the frame that the barn is back in the back. Um, so he's continuing to go sideways, but I'm just going to ignore it. The biggest thing with these young horses is just stay unemotional. Um, and really, I have no expectations for them. I just have a couple of rules. They're not allowed to take off with me, and they're not allowed to try to buck me off. Um, but he started to figure it out. He And when they offered me a really nice, lovely canter, I kind of take it. But I'm always trying to keep him in balance. Um here, he didn't care about the water anymore. He was very confident with the water. And again, just making it all very playful. You'll kind of see that I move around a little bit. I'm not going to try to ride perfect on the young horses. You want them to learn to be able to be forgiving and accepting of, of you kind of moving around. So here, he kind of wants to drift again. And I'm going to close my outside leg on it and continue to ask him to turn to get off of my leg. And then when he does, I release the pressure. There, once he came off the leg. And I had to do a fair amount of this because, again, he wants to just jig and go back to the barn. So here, I'm going to keep moving his feet left and right, left and right. Because the minute I drop the reins, he just wants to take off. Um, so I'm just asking him to yield his hind end, the same as I've done on the ground. Um, and so it'll get to where when he wants to jig, I'm going to make him work a little bit more, make him push his hind end over. And eventually I'm going to get it to where he understands when I pick up that rein, he's not going to want to move. He's going to want to slow down. And eventually I got him to take a deep breath. And he started to learn to walk. And he's just an impatient young baby. So again, you have to stay unemotional. There's no need in getting frustrated. And by the end, he was walking nicely on the buckle. And it was a really good day for Sniper. I was super thrilled with this young horse. Next was Sharpie. 
his jockey club name is Sharp Johnny, but we uh, changed his show name to Sharp Decision. And he is my little war horse. He's raced 61 times. And he had a very different kind of mindset than the younger boys did. Um, he's six. And he just was very super brave about everything. All three of the young horses that I rode and uh, Maddie's young horse were all very brave, but he was the bravest of them all. Um, and he seemed to really enjoy it. And um, again, I headed towards the ditch after the water was no problem and the ditches were no problem. Um, they all did the small, medium, and larger ditches. And uh, it's really fun with the young horses when you are bringing them along and they're able to read the questions. And again, lots of trotting. Um, if anything, he was a little bold and, and would get a little strong on me in certain spots. Um, <clears throat> most of the horses are in a nathe, just a straight rubber bit, um, or a mylar. That's what I kind of start all the young horses in. And it just depends on what their mouth likes. Kind of a fun fact, he and Sniper are related to my four-star horse, Johnny. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, it's really fun to get excited about these young horses to bring along and how brave they are in the beginning. I just was so, so happy with how well Sharpie handled his feet and everything. He did a really good job. Next was Slate, and he gave me a completely different ride. Um, his jockey club name is Run Slato Run, and he raced 42 times, and he is pretty silly. Uh, he walked really quietly past the big scary tables and all the other stuff, but he was absolutely petrified of this little log. So uh, unlike with the other horses that I just headed to the water first, I had to address this a situation with the log first. So, um, again, my rules are they can't take off with me and they can't buck with me. So you'll see there are some times where I'm making sure I keep his head up in the air and that we're not bolting away. Um, so he's having to learn to process things when he gets scared. Um, and I'm working on keeping his face in the center and he's allowed to be scared. It's okay if they spook, but again, they can't try to kill me. So um, uh, he then figured it out that it wasn't going to eat the little black horse. And uh, we got past the log to get to the water. In the water, he was actually pretty good. He hesitated a little bit. Um, and then he figured out he could walk right in it. So um, again, uh, it's actually pretty easy for a young horse with his first time going into water at a uh, facility. And he popped right in. Um, I was able to take him in the creek at my house, so I like to kind of play outside on the trails, and it really helps give them an introduction to the cross country when you do head out to the courses. And again, we just came and trotted back down to drop into the water, and he figured out flash splashing was pretty fun. Then we headed to the ditch, and he just wanted to take one little peek, but he was very willing to go. He was another one that was... He was... A touch different than uh, Sharpie, where he was a bit spooky, but he was bold at the same time. So it's quite a balance. Um, and again, I'm laughing at him because he would jump all the scary houses and flowers, but he would still hesitate at that log. Um, but overall, I was really happy with how well he did and how well all three of them, actually four, including Maddie's young horse, all did super well. And it was a great weekend for them. Yep, I'm the rock star, guys. <laughs> 